This is the City Source online update on the search for answers as to what is causing Irving to rattle. There have been more than 25 earthquakes in Irving since early September. Most were centered in the former Texas Stadium site area. So far, most have been in the two range on the Richter scale. A couple have been in the threes. When you look at this, keep in mind that each level on that scale represents a tenfold change in intensity. A team from SMU has installed a seismometer in Northeast Irving, but the exact location is not being shared for security reasons. That one can be monitored remotely, so scientists can get data as soon as people feel an earthquake. Scientists continue to deploy additional equipment, allowing them to gather information across a broader area. The scientists say the data from all of these devices will supplement others in the North Texas region. They hope to determine a precise location of the earthquake's epicenter, and that, they say, is the first step in getting at a cause. We continue to receive a number of questions you know, via email and phone calls into City Hall. Residents do have a lot of questions about that. We want to make sure that our residents have the information. You know, the safety and security of our residents is paramount for the City of Irving. And through this study and additional analysis, we'll be able to gain more information, be able to give them the information that they need and that we need to be able to make a good assessment. SMU scientists will provide an update to City Council at the January 15th meeting. You'll be able to watch that live on ICTN2 at 7 p.m., also at ICTN.TV. And one more earthquake note, the police department is asking residents not to call 911 to report an earthquake unless there is a true emergency. The police department says the 911 system has been getting overwhelmed with calls. It reminds residents that unnecessary calls may prevent someone with a critical need from getting through to get help.